Oh, good morning guys and welcome back to the farm. I can't believe we're on our seventh vlog already. Um, as you can see, well, we're in summer now. It's uh, definitely turning. The summer months are upon us. It's blue skies. It's nice and warm. Um, we'll hop over. Now, today, as you can see, our field that we seeded yesterday has germinated already. And it is well and truly in the growing stages, which is brilliant. That is exactly what we want. So that's uh, the best outcome for this field. It's going to be nice and productive. We need to get some lime on here. And uh, yeah, that's good. We can shut this up for now, though, because I don't think we're going to go in there right now. But also, first thing on our list, our rake that we hired, I forgot to take back yesterday. Uh, the dealership have phoned me and they said that's okay, not to worry, bring it back first thing this morning and they're not going to charge me any extra so as soon as we fed the cows this morning we need to take that rate back to the dealer so we'll get some sheds open um, we need the tractor first thing uh, I will take this off uh, there we go now as you can see, off screen, I did just empty the fertilizer that we had in here and put the rest of our lime in. Um, so um, we're ready to lime field 41 here, our new grass field. Okie dokie. So I think we can get to the mix wagon without moving the man over. Actually, no, we can't. Okay. So what we need... We're going to be using our new hay already. We'll just get this here. We'll need two hay. Oh, that was weird. Um, there we go. We'll just need to do two hay here. That's it. Perfect. So yeah, I can't believe we're on our seventh vlog already. The time is just flying by. Um, we're already into early summer now, which I can't believe. It's just been absolutely crazy. Crazy busy on the farm. The little 6 3 has been working hard. We definitely, definitely need to uh, look into a bigger tractor soon. Just another one, maybe. So we get that on. To the pipes. Ah, oh, we already have some total mix ration in there. So actually, I think we can turn this on and start it mixing up. And I will go over to the cows, empty what's in there, and refill the uh, mixer wagon. I'll do that on the time lapse. And yeah, so hopefully, once we've fed the cows, um, we can take that right back. So I'll see you guys after the cows have been fed. Feel uninvited Left you home in West LA I'm not excited So uninspired On my way to play the bay While you're alone This girl's a wonder She loves me, yeah She needs to know I love her I wonder if we'll make it through this summer Just wanna touch like back Here we are, just getting this last bit topped into the cow's trough here. Actually took a lot more than I thought they would there. So we'll leave that on. So they should be all full now. I've just got to fill up their water. That's it. That's slowly filling up. We will just check how much slurry there is. There's definitely slurry in here. Um, a fair bit of manure and our bucket that we have yet to use. Now, how much milk have we got? Again, we've got 12,500 litres of milk. So we'll just check the cows here. So they don't need uh, mucking out or anything. They've got 30,000 litres of slurry and 12,000 litres of 
uh, milk and a hundred and seventy-eight thousand liters of manure. So we've got loads of manure. So we can either get a slurry tanker or manure in the future. As we've got twelve thousand liters of milk, I might as well check see if the lorry is about today. So he is. So I'll get him to come. That's perfect. So we just got another twenty-four thousand pounds from the cows. They are, are saving grace at the minute. They are our only income. So we're up to some good money now. 92,000. Oh, blimey. This is a rocky old track. So, yeah, the stem topped up. Hopefully, that'll last them a couple of days. I think that's. I can get away with them lasting two days if I fill their trough right up. So, just makes it a bit easier for getting other stuff done. We'll back this back in here. There we go. All done nice and early. Didn't take us too long. Drop that off. But yeah, things going well. I will hook up the rake now, I think. And then... Probably take this over to the shop. I have spoken to the dealership about hiring the JCB and the triple mowers just to get our silage finally done and they said that's okay I think they said it would be £650 but I have to double check when I get there yeah so I head over to the dealership now and return this and hopefully hire out some mowers I'll see you guys once we're there Here we are guys, just pulling into the dealership now. Um, luckily it's nice and close to us so we don't have to travel far. Um, I will just put the rake exactly where I, back where I got it from so that there's no confusion then. It did look like on the way in there that our JCB has been, uh, been got ready for us which is nice. Looks good over there. Just back it in here. Roughly nice and neat. There we go. Perfect. And we will, I guess, park the tractor in the customer parking area because we'll just leave this here for now. We will um, just back up here. Just like that. There we go. Turn our beacons off. Nice, it fits in quite nice. And I will go and pay them for the JCB. And that should be it. So I'll do that real quick. Okay, there we go. So I've just paid them. £650. We can have it for the whole day, but we're just going to use it to cut our own fields. And then just bring it back, so there's no point uh, taking it back to our farm just because there's no grass to, to uh, cut there. So this is a really nice tractor. It's brand new as well and I think the mowers are new also. I think this is their demo so I suppose I should have really asked for a demo but it seems to fit well triple mowers on this JCB. I think this is one of our fields here. Yeah it looks like it. Look at that. What a setup. So I will open the gate. And now I've just got to try and figure out how to uh, use these mowers. Well, there's a big lump there in the gate. I'm going to unfold that, lower it down, and then that seems to be doing the trick. Unfold this. And actually, I think we want the swarfers on, but I'll have to figure out how to do that. We'll just shut this gate up. So. I think we do that. There we go, that looks good. And we'll turn that on. 
Let's flick the front PTO on. And I think we should just be able to go like this, and it should be all doing okay. It's looking good so far. Look at that, we'll just hop out and check. Oh, we'll go around the mower. Just check it's cutting alright, and it's nice. Making a nice easy swirl for the baler. So that's good. I'll carry on going round. So yeah, I think this Tracy B is uh, on its limits here, really, with these mowers, but it seems to be doing fairly well here. Uh, it's a nice wide cut, so hopefully it won't take us too long to mow two fields here. Just head round the field here. It's literally right uh, behind the dealership here. But these fields, again, these fields are not going to be very productive because um, I think this one's had fertiliser at one stage, but that field over there has not even had one stage of fertiliser, so there won't be much uh, profit to be made off of these fields this time, but we can make sure by the time they regrow again that we uh, get some fertiliser on them. Make sure they're ready to go again. But some of this silage we'll keep for ourselves, and some we'll probably end up selling. It leads us on to our next thing. Though now we're cutting the silage, we don't have a bale wrapper uh, lined up at the moment, so it's something we've definitely got to think about. So yeah, I've done once around the field now, so I probably send up the drone. Oh, it's a bit scruffy over there. Send up the drone and carry on and get these both these fields done, and then that way, yeah, it makes it a bit quicker for you guys watching. So I will do that and see you hopefully when this is all cut. almost done I have literally been mowing all morning and it's taken us until one o'clock it has certainly taken longer than I thought it would and I'm certainly glad that I borrowed 
or hired, should I say, these mowers. So we will fold them up. There you go. I did get to hang of, uh, with using them in the end. So, yeah, all done. Let's we'll hop out here, hop up on the roof. These fields are a lot bigger than I uh, thought they were originally. Um, I'm not too sure what we'll do with them in the future because there will be a fair few bales out here even though this has not been fertilised it's still going to take a while to move the bales but I will be able to up the density on the baler especially to the ones that I'm selling uh, straight off the field so shut that gate up and we will take this straight back to the dealers they said not to worry, they said just park them up when you're done um, so I won't need to see them, I'll just drop it off and uh, go again. So This is a very smooth tractor, one day maybe we can afford one of these. I think I'm probably currently saving for a combine, it's probably the best idea because I will need one of them soon. And a trailer, and I have spoken to them about that grain trailer out the back and they're just getting me a price on that. Um, so that's definitely, hopefully, soon to be ours. So we we'll just leave this here. Oh, there we go. Just switch it off. Perfect. So yeah, it's a really nice tractor. Uh, definitely good to use. So we we'll head back <laughs> in our little six two or six three even. It's a lot different to that one. But there we go, this is ours. So, um, Actually, I might just ask them if they've come up with a price yet. So we might be able to bring that trailer back. I will speak to them and let you know. Okay, spoken to them. And we have brought ourselves a new trailer. Uh, they decided it was 8,000 in the end. Is how much they wanted for it. So... I don't think that's too bad in terms of things. I mean, it's an old trailer, but it has a cover. I think we'll be able to put it for our workshop soon. And uh, I think it will smarten up quite a lot. But there we go. Brought something new today, too. Alright, we will head back to the farm with this. It's... Uh, I guess we're buying the wrong thing first, but we definitely do need a trailer. And some, we need some way of selling our grain when we have it and storing it, so... I don't think it was a bad move. Anyway, I'll head back to the yard and see you when we're there. Here we are, back at the farm. Got a trailer. I think we can leave it outside for now. We'll just leave it in the uh, outside area. It's been outside by looks of it for most of its life so a few days won't make any difference we'll put it just over here all right out the way oh yeah i forgot to tell you guys when i was at the dealership i asked about wrappers as well and they said they actually have one coming in on a lorry tonight so it will be uh here tomorrow morning first thing which is perfect for us um so I think I'll probably buy that new um, just because we will always need a wrapper so I think it's worth buying so we'll drop this off here, take the pipes out drop the pin off we'll switch the tractor off and I think I'll head in for some lunch a late lunch and then after lunch we'll put some lime on our grass field and probably call it a day for today's episode so I'll get and do that I'll head home, have some lunch and be back soon. Okay, that was a nice lunch, nice little lunch break. So we will head back straight to it, hop in the tractor. I think this is a sheep field here. I think this is what it's uh, designed for. We'll hop over the fence. Save opening the gate. So we get back in the tractor here in the John Deere. This thing certainly is doing some hours at the minute. It's a um, really, really reliable little tractor, so I'm really pleased. I'm not sure what to do with our mower over there. I think we should probably keep it. 
and hopefully our next tractor will have a front mower as well. Oh, not a front mower, a front linkage as well. And we'll be able to um, have a front mower, so I think the front and the side will be plenty quick enough for us. Um, but we'll see. Let me know what you think about the mower in the comments. Now, I think I actually fill up with lime here. We've got a lime shed. So, it's definitely worth filling up before we go out in that field. Okay, maybe not. Maybe it's run out. We'll have to uh, see how far this gets us. And if we need to have some more, we'll have to try and buy some. I'll probably uh, chuck the drone up for all of this. And once we're done, we should be done for the day, I hope. But we'll see. So I'll chuck the drone up and see you guys after we put the slime on. Just wanna touch like back when we were younger. Yeah. Why don't you love me, love me, love me? Touch me, touch me, touch me no more. Why don't you love me, love me, love me? Touch me, touch me, touch me no more. Okay, that's that all spread. That took no time at all. As you can see, it's got a nice fine covering. All this needs now is some uh, fertilizer. Uh, I did think while I was uh, lime spreading, we could use some slurry or manure from our own cow's sort of shed over there, just to go straight on here. It would make sense. Um, it's definitely something that I'm going to think about, maybe once this lime's gone in a bit. There's so much stuff on the list to buy, but... Um, the only issue is the money. So I think we'll probably call it for today. I will just quickly rinse this lime off of everything here. Just to keep the tractor looking nice. Just the outside of the fertilizer spreader as well. There we go. Just a quick rinse over. Yes, so I'll put this back in the shed. It seems to fit nice in here. We do have some lime left also. Um, we will back up here. Drop this down. Switch off the tractor. And leave it in the shed. There you go. Slide the door across. And we will also shut this door up here. Yeah, we're making progress on the farm. Today we managed to cut all our silage and um, lime this field, so certainly it's been productive. Um, I think tomorrow's vlog we will um, get our silage bailed up and hopefully wrapped. And then, depending on how long that takes, I think it should probably take a whole episode to bail that and wrap it. Our new wrapper will come in overnight, which will be good. So that's probably the plan for tomorrow. Uh, yeah, I hope to see you guys then. And I hope you enjoyed this vlog. And I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.